I love social justice, um, but I'm very, very skeptical of, of, of all the range of theories of social justice that were developed during the last during the last century. Those theories of social justice all had this common characteristic, this common moral defect. Each and every one of them was based on the idea that the, that the economic liberties of capitalism are not morally important. So every theory of justice, every, th every extant theory of social justice, except perhaps mine, <laughs> but it's still brand new, starts off by saying, Let's, take, let's look at all the basic rights and liberties of liberalism, and we're going to pick out one group, the economic ones, and we're going to minimize those, and then we're going to run the big state after social justice. That's what people think social justice is. That's what the fans are, that's the, if you do the analogy. But social justice itself does not require that. It's an open question when we think about a theory of social justice, how weighty should property rights be? Why not make them very weighty and then see what it means to help the poor that way? That's my basic idea.